fact, ugly men do exist. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're automatically an incel. Let's explore this concept. I've made a few videos about incels at this point. I have read the comments from people who are claiming to be incels. And what I'm reading from what they're telling me about themselves is that no woman would want to be in a physical relationship with them because they are too ugly. Now I've heard various explanations on what exactly is too ugly for a woman to want you. And interestingly enough, it's different reasons. It could be too short. You could be follically challenged. You could have some kind of physical way that you were born that causes your body to, whatever it is, or just in general ugly. So what I'm, what I'm troubling to grasp right now is what's the difference between an ugly man and an incel other than the brain inside that man. Because for every reason I've heard a, a self-proclaimed incel explain why no woman would want him, I can think of 20 men who are, would easily be the exception to the rule that they are married to. Well, and I want to give an extreme example here. Let's talk about it. what if you're a dwarf? What, what if you are less than five foot tall? Well, there are, there are dwarfs married to regular sized women that exist. So whatever, even this, there are men who were burned in fires. They're physically maimed. And even after that, end up getting married to a very normal looking woman, attractive enough woman. I have seen many cases of these things. So it would be easy to say, oh, well, they're all, they, they should be incels, no one. But then how did they do that? So if you're asking me, it's all in the mind. Anything you believe is true in your mind. If you believe you're too ugly for a woman to love you in any way, then you're definitely gonna be right. And in my mind, that's what an incel is. But I can be wrong. I am wrong. I'm wrong at least half the time. That's one of the things that makes me so successful in life is that I'm constantly ready to be wrong so that I can learn something new. So in this video, now's your chance. Correct me where I'm wrong. Help me understand what exactly qualifies to be too ugly for a woman to want you specifically. Because so far, everything I've heard, I can already give names of, an, of examples that are exceptions to the rule. And usually when I do, then someone like, well, he's rich, well, he's famous. But see, that is that saying that you're only an insult because you're not rich and famous in addition to not being attractive enough. What I am presenting is the concept that yes, ugly men exist. I'm never questioning that. But I don't think that being ugly automatically makes you an incel. I think your brain makes you an incel. And as long as you're convinced you're an incel that no one would want you, you're always going to be right. And that's why I turn my back on my former audience on this channel. I stopped talking about that topic that I used to because I realized or I felt like a lot of my audience were incels. They were never going to allow themselves to think outside of their own brain. So I walked away from that. So ultimately though, even aside from that, there are men who are incels. Help me sort this out. Yes, ugly men exist, but that doesn't mean they're automatically an incel. So what's the difference? You tell me, you enlighten me, you raise my IQ. How? Just by leaving a comment right here.